whole NATO coalition preparing for war due to terrorism and Russia's actions. One of the most fundamental disagreements in NATO is the inconsistency in the views of the member countries of the Alliance on Threats, which include terrorism and Russia's actions, the Wall Street Journal reports. The Alliance aims to prepare allies to fight shoulder to shoulder. According to the publication, NATO planners believe that a direct Russian invasion of one of the Alliance's member countries is unlikely in the near future, but the bloc has once again begun preparing for a coalition war. In the short term, NATO fears that Russia could provoke conflict in neighboring countries, encouraging local Russians to do so and using tensions as a pretext to intervene, as the Kremlin did in eastern Ukraine a decade ago. Now, preparing for war by the whole coalition is once again a NATO priority, so the alliance aims to prepare allies to fight shoulder to shoulder, the newspaper specifies. According to the Wall Street Journal, the alliance recognizes that NATO member states are facing serious differences of opinion on the reality of the threat from Russia. For example, politicians in Turkey and other member states along the Mediterranean Sea are more concerned about local conflicts and illegal migration than the threat of the Russian invasion. The Russian war on Ukraine has prompted Germany to permanently plan to base 4,800 troops in the Lithuanian region by 2027, which analysts argue is at risk of a Russian attack. This will be Germany's first permanent foreign military deployment since World War II. Denmark's defense minister, Trolls Lund Poulsen, also warned last week that Russia could attack NATO within three to five years. Russia's capacity to produce military equipment has increased tremendously. Poulsen told local newspaper Jailands Posten, it cannot be ruled out that within a three to five year period, Moscow will test Article 5 and NATO's solidarity, he added. That was not NATO's assessment in 2023. This is new knowledge that is coming to the fore now, he said. The flood disaster in Medina, Saudi Arabia was captured on cell phone camera. Due to the flood disaster, many vehicles were damaged by floodwaters. Terrifying dust tornado struck without warning on April 28 in Saudi Arabia. Coupled with severe flash flooding in other parts of the country the same day, the twin natural disasters left a trail of devastation behind the National Center for Meteorology forecast rainfall of between 10 mm and 50 mm during the week and issued weather alerts for several areas. Spokesman Hussein al Qatani advised people to avoid travel by land unless necessary and called for greater caution due to expected poor visibility, hail, and flash floods. Stormy weather is expected across the Arabian Peninsula this week. Authorities issue new alerts as weather conditions change over the coming hours and days, sustained heavy rainfall could trigger flooding in low-lying communities near rivers, streams, and creeks. Urban flooding is also possible in developed areas with easily overwhelmed stormwater drainage systems. Sites located downstream from large reservoirs or rivers may be subject to flash flooding after relatively short periods of intense rainfall. Landslides are possible in hilly or mountainous areas, especially where the soil has become saturated by heavy rainfall. Authorities may issue mandatory evacuation orders for flood-prone communities over the coming days. Disruptions to electricity and telecommunications services are possible where significant winds or flooding impact utility networks. <laughs>